Mm-hmm. All right. Welcome to our last installment of um, Science from the Kitchen. We're going to be cooking up some chemistry today with chocolate chip cookies. And um, so I'm introducing Unit 15, Stoichiometry, with some recipes because recipes are really a great way to connect the amount of particles that you need, for example, to make a batch of cookies to the amount of particles or moles that you would need in a chemical reaction. So we're gonna go ahead and I have this example. Um, again, this is cookies, but obviously we're gonna do this with- Chocolate chip cookies. Right, we're gonna do this eventually with um, chemical reactions. But here, what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and write the reaction for three moles of chocolate chips, react with two moles of flour, and one mole of sugar to make one mole of cookies. In the next video, we're gonna make actual cookies. All right, Libby's narrating from behind the screen. Yeah. Um, so the very first thing you wanna do with these stoichiometry problems is you wanna write the balanced chemical equation. So here, we know that we have three moles of chocolate chips, and I'm gonna go ahead and abbreviate chocolate chips with CC. They react with two moles of flour. I'm gonna abbreviate with FL. Sorry for the screaming step mm -hmm. behind because it's storming. It's storming, yep. With one mole of sugar, SU, to make one mole of cookies. Okay, so here's our balanced chemical equation. And as you guys know already, these coefficients represent an amount in this case, an amount in moles, right? So let's say that you have approximately 150 grams of chocolate chips. 150 grams of chocolate chips, right? And I were to give you the formula for chocolate chips, which is C7H8N4O2. And I asked you to convert from grams of chocolate chips to moles of cookies. So in this problem, sorry, the given is what you know. 150 units, grams. Units, 150 grams of chocolate chips. And what you don't know is obviously your unknown. And here we have a little bit of a multi-step problem because you can't just jump from grams of one substance in your recipe to moles of another. You've got to go through the coefficients, which is your mole ratio. So in order to convert from chocolate chips to cookies, I need to be in moles, right? And in order to be in moles, I need to know the molar mass of my chocolate chips which is just the combined mass of carbon, seven of those, plus eight hydrogen, plus four nitrogen, plus two oxygen. So the molar mass of chocolate is 180.19 grams for every one mole, right? And so all I need to do to convert to moles is take 150 and divide it by 180.19, and I end up getting 0.832 moles of chocolate chips. Now, with the chocolate chips, here they are. Why'd you do that? I don't know, because it's fun. Um, I want to convert now from moles of chocolate chips to moles of cookies. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I now know that I have 0 0.832 moles of chocolate chips, so I'm gonna start there. Right? 0 0.832 moles of chocolate chips. And now, I'm gonna use the mole ratio from my balanced chemical equation above. And so I know that for every three moles, of chocolate chips, I'm gonna yield one mole of cookies, right? So all I need to do 
is take that 0.832 moles and divide it by 3 to get the moles of cookies that I would make with those ingredients. Hello. Okay. So that's step one. Um, you don't need to convert to anything else because I asked you to solve for moles of cookies here. But if you wanted to take this one step further, which the next practice problem does, um, we could then convert from moles of cookies back to mass of cookies if we knew the molar mass of a single cookie. Okay? Chocolate chippies. <laughs> All right. So in the next chemical equation with cookies, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second video in this next practice problem. And we're gonna we're gonna make actual cookies. Are we? I'm not sure yet. Um, in this next problem, we have two moles of eggs that react with one mole of brown sugar and two moles of butter to produce two moles of cookies. So our equation is different, and the problem is asking if you had a dozen eggs that have a total mass of 600 grams, and you know the chemical formula for eggs. If you use all of the eggs to make cookies, how many moles of butter would you need? How many grams of butter would you need? Okay. Um, so I will walk you through that next example in the second video. All right. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye.